get David to have a word with him? Why do I have to get involved? Oh, you don't, David, OK? I don't care I've never seen him again. He's had his chance and he's blown it, right? Oh, I'm so lucky. Mm. One day you and Jenny will find someone as lovely as my David. <laughs> yes, and hopefully when we do, we won't gloat about it. Hey, Mr Pollard. Yeah, Good oh, morning. Yeah, you look tired. Yeah, I was up till 3 o'clock this morning talking to Valerie. Oh, she's <laughs> at the other side of the world and still pestering you. Hey, out. I happen to love my wife. And... Hey, she'll be home soon. Right, I'm off. Bye-bye. <laughs> Morning. Oh, morning. Ed. How's the factory going? Yeah, fine. Fine. Uh, uh, have you met my son? I don't think we have. He stole Laurel off me. Did we? Yes, I own the cleaning company. Huh. Yeah, and he's also our local councillor, so if there's anything you need on that score, then uh, he's your man. We're not looking for favours. Although we do have a cleaning contract that's up for grabs. We're not hiring someone off the street. Can your company cope with industrial cleaning? Did you hear what I just said? Bear in mind we post your best worker. Actually, I don't have trouble recruiting staff. To be honest with you, Laurel wasn't that good. Good. In that case, why don't you pop up at lunchtime? A word. We don't know the first thing about him. No, which is why we need a meeting before anything's signed and sealed. You're just trying to wind me up. No, I'm trying to solve our cleaning problem. Don't forget who's in charge. We'll see you later then, eh? Yeah, if you're sure. We are. Hey, if there's anything else you need, um... What am I? Chop liver? Morning. Morning. Do you want some toast? I'll pick something up on the way to work. How'd it go, okay? It didn't. What? I thought you got your act together. What went wrong? It's none of your business. I thought you seemed really keen. Did you hear what I said? Come on! You're late for school. I'm not going to school today, Daddy. I thought I'd spend the day in the pub instead. If you hadn't wasted your talents, you'd have a proper job instead of having to sponge off us. I'm guessing you're not in the best of moods. Will, where are you? Well, I'm coming, so I need to shout. I've got a trip to organise and you're dawdling. Yeah, it's still your monk. You're spending two weeks knocking balls around a golf course and dining on whiskey. What's to organise? I've spent years working for my pleasures. I can't expect you to understand that. That's the second time he's badmouthed me and I've only been up five minutes. I think you should go and apologise to her. I haven't got time. No, uh, let's go, William. Why is she so angry? Oh, she's just being silly. Have a good day at school, yeah. I love you. Bye. Bye-bye. Right. Gonna go and look at that muck. What time do you think you'll be back? How do I know? Right. I need you to look after this place for a couple of hours. Ryan. Right, okay. I'm meeting someone for dinner, so you're in charge. You're seeing him again, are you? Look, Deb, my job is fixing cars, not covering your backside. OK, what am I supposed to say if your dad asks? Just say I've gone to see Lisa. So, lie, basically. Look, when I get back, you can clock off early. And now she's bribing me. Oh, come on, be a mate. Do I have a choice? How did it go with him and your mum last night? Uh, I think he's messing her about. I might have a word. Seriously, don't get involved. I keep trying not to. This is where the real work happens. So I say, what's she doing in here? Um, she's got a tummy bug. This is not a sick room. What? You're supposed to be out there. I've got a migraine. <clears throat> um, bellyache. Oh, I'm dead poorly. How much did you have to drink last night? Too much. Well, you better get yourself home and sleep it off. No way. Get back out there and earn your money. I'll give the girl a break. Why are you defending her? Just five more minutes. Get out. Oh, steady. <laughs> I'm bored of people messing me around. Right, all right, I'm going. Sorry about that. That's how you treat all your employees. It better not be. Uh, anyway, have you prepared the contract? What contract? Yeah, what contract? Yeah, it's almost finished. Great. Well, you two are keen. I thought this was just a general chit-chat. So did I. Look, I'll show David around the factory, and then you two can talk money. This is not a done deal. It will be once you've worked your magic. I'll, uh, I'll have to warn you, lads. My services don't come cheap. Yeah, well, I'm sure he'll be gentle with you. <laughs> Won't you, bro? Shall we? Yeah. Hey, buddy? Nothing to say to you. Oh, come on, we're all on your side. Lisa sends a love and Aaron. 
Well, not his love exactly, but I mean, he's thinking about you. Having a good laugh, I expect. He likes you. He likes making a fool of me. Anyway, whatever Chaz has done, we are still family. Why would I want to associate myself with you? Hey! You're pushing it a bit there, lad, aren't you? Sorry. Nobody made you keep falling in love with our lasses. Most families won't give you a time of day after you dumped our Mandy. Don't... I, I, Mandy dumped me! And so did Emily! And now Chaz! I think we've got a pattern emerging here. Aye, and Delilah. Look, I'm not, I'm not here to argue. Aaron has washed his hands of his mother and he's now stopping at ours. What do you want me to do about it? I've come to pick up the rest of his stuff. Help yourself, it's there. You were going to dump it? I don't want anything in the house that's not mine. You can push us away as much as you like, but me and Lisa are not giving up on you. Where have you been? Oh, dropping Will at school. What, three hours ago? <laughs> Is it necessary to constantly question my whereabouts? Yeah, it would seem so. I'm sorry. It's this, uh, it's this Faye and Kane thing. It's really getting to me. And how is taking that out on our children supposed to help? Hmm? I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. You packed? I'm not going, actually. <clears throat> Why not? Anything could happen whilst I'm away. No. You listen to me. We are going to carry on our lives as normal. And what is normal this time of year is that you and Lance and Brendan waste two weeks touring Scottish golf clubs. I've made my decision. I'm not going to change it. Why do you need to see me so urgently? Guess. I'm supposed to be in York. I'm not stopping you. What are you doing here? I don't have to answer, do you? You do if you pass through my daughter. I haven't seen Debbie in ages. Do you think I'm an idiot? I thought that's crossed my mind. You get in your car, you drive away and you don't come back. I have business here. Not anymore, you don't. I see you again, I'll break every bone in your body. OK. I get the message. Crime we're supposed to be committing. You don't want to get on the wrong side of my dad. Yeah, I'll figure that out for myself. What did he say? Ah, uh, the usual. I'm a dead man. It's not funny. <laughs> 